Well, you may recall back in August of last year, Forbes magazine published the U.S. National Science Foundation's annual Science and Engineering Report, which ranked the top 20 geekiest cities in the U.S. And lo and behold, the Tri-Cities made the list at 11th place. But before you get a little upset and defensive about this, this ranking is actually a good thing. You see, the report defined a geek as any worker with a bachelor's level education in science and engineering field. Knowing our economy is anchored by major employers including Battelle, Bechtel, CH2M Hill, and Energy Northwest, I'm surprised we don't rank in the top five of that list. One thing I do know is being surrounded by geniuses is nothing but a good thing, and recently the city of Richland was able to team up with some of that brain power in an exciting experiment. I'm not really a genius, but you know, I play one on TV. The city of Richland places a high value on partnering with local businesses, citizens, and neighboring cities. These collaborations help create the amenities citizens expect, save taxpayer dollars, and streamline operational effectiveness. Recently, the city of Richland had the opportunity to collaborate with one of the most prestigious laboratories in the world, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. PNNL has purchased two custom factory-built double-wide homes and set them up side-by-side -side on the PNNL campus to conduct energy research. The City of Richland's Energy Services Department is supporting this project by providing electrical service to the homes, oversized transformers, and smart meters to aid the researchers in their experiments. The Lab Homes project is also exciting for city staff because many of the technologies that will be tested are energy efficiency measures that currently or may in the future qualify for incentives through the city's energy services conservation programs. This is an opportunity for, for a benefit, uh, for the city to pass on benefit to our customers. And uh, these two homes help our customers. These two homes are gonna uh, help validate the energy usage uh, on, uh, on them. And that information can go back and can be shared with not only Richland residents, but uh, residences across the U.S. The Lab Homes Project will use two identical 1,500 square foot factory built homes for experiments focused on reducing energy use and peak demand. Research and demonstration on the Lab Homes Project will focus primarily on retrofit technologies. In each study, one home, the baseline home, will remain untouched, typifying an average existing home in the Northwest, and the other, the experimental home, We'll test new technologies one by one. We were really careful in the way these homes were sited. So you'll see that they're, they're exactly the same orientation. And, and so the sun hits the homes uh, both at the same uh, angle. They also are far enough apart so that the shadow of one home would not impact the other home. So that it's very carefully designed so that when you have two homes sitting side by side, you make a change to one home. It is reflected in a baseline home that has not been changed, but is identical in the nature of the home. To get the most accurate information possible, scientists have decided to simulate occupancy in the homes. The first project will be a six-month study of highly insulating triple-pane windows, with additional research centered on smart appliances. Each home will be outfitted with controllable circuits, dual heating systems, environmental sensors, and a weather station. Light bulbs will be used to reproduce the heat given off by the human body. Appliances, lights, and water fixtures will be turned off and on, and humidity will be introduced into the homes, all remotely. We try to take the occupancy factor out of a home because people operate the home so much differently than anybody else. Every family, every person is unique in the way they operate a home. Sometimes that tends to uh, distort some of the data you get on performance of equipment. So we take that factor out, that variable out, and make both homes absolutely identical in the way they would be occupied, we can then test the true measure of the performance of the technologies that we're going to be bringing into the home. PNNL is one of 10 U.S. Department of Energy national laboratories managed by the Department of Energy's Office of Science. The Lab Homes research supports the DOE's Building America program, which strives to develop integrated energy systems that dramatically reduce annual energy use and peak loads in both existing and new homes. Experts estimate the built environment accounts for over 40% of the energy consumed in the country. 
One goal of the Building America program is to try and save 50% of the energy used in the current building stock by retrofitting buildings with energy efficient upgrades. The data that PNNL researchers will gather will go a long way towards helping the DOE meet this goal and fits into the City of Richland's strategic plan of cost-effective services. Energy conservation helps everyone. It, it allows us to better use our resources. We have been able to demonstrate that in, in years past and, and, uh, and show that, uh, that that conservation allowed us to defer uh, doing upgrades on our systems. And it has allowed us to pass on those savings to our customers. If we did not have conservation, it means that we have to go out and obtain more power from Bonneville. It means that we have to install larger wire sooner than we would normally have to. And so conservation allows us to delay upgrading of systems uh, as, as much as possible. It allows us to better utilize our infrastructure, and it's the wise thing to do. PNNL will run tests at the lab homes for a minimum of five years, but their hope is for 10 years. You can keep up with the work being done at the PNNL Lab Homes project by visiting their webpage at the web address at the bottom of your screen. One exciting feature of their webpage is the ability for residents to submit ideas and feedback to the researchers. So if you have a technology you want them to test, let them know.